acceptance, right? Isn't that really kind of where we all want to be? Whether it's accepting that it happened, accepting that um, this is just going to be part of our life from now on, or accepting that, um, you know, he really has done the work and he is changing or whatever that, whatever acceptance looks like to you. Is that what you're kind of waiting for right now? Is that the thing you're, you're really wanting and looking for? Well, great, because in this video, we're going to kind of talk about acceptance, um, what it is, how to attain it, and uh, we'll see what we can explore with acceptance. So stay tuned. When we make the uh, actual decision to stay in the marriage after the affair, we, we may not do it consciously, but we really are making a decision to accept that this is our new reality. You may not be ready to hear that right now, right? But that really is kind of what we say. When we say we're going to stay in this marriage, it's like, okay, I accept it happened and I'm willing to move forward. Now, it's really difficult and I get it, especially if you're pretty early past D-Day, to even wrap your brain around accepting that this happened on a conscious level. You may be like, oh, no, 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 I cannot. There's no way I could accept that he would do this to me. But yet we chose to stay. So there's a little bit of difference here. So really, I think what we're looking for is, is getting to a place of peace. Now, we're grieving, okay? We're all grieving. And in the Kubler-Ross you know, method of grieving, the different stages of grief, the final stage is acceptance. Now, I want to be clear, grief is not linear, meaning that we don't start at, at the first stage and work our way through the second stage, then the third stage, then the fourth stage. Then we get to the fifth stage of acceptance and we go, all right, we're good. And then we never grieve again. That's really, that's not how grief works. Grief is a process by which our mind is able to slowly comprehend the pain in which we are experiencing through whatever loss we've experienced, okay? If we had to experience every single thing we feel during the grief process at one time, we, I think we would go insane. I don't think our brains and our hearts were created to have to uh, deal with that all at one time. So the way we process is very, very important because processing means that we're taking it one baby step at a time. And acceptance is meant to be that place where we've taken a lot of those little baby steps through denial, through anger, through depression, whatever it may be. And as we go through those different things and we, we feel what we need to feel through those different things, then we get to the place of acceptance. And it's not as though we just go, oh, great, I'm done. And we never think about it again. That's just crazy. If you have ever lost someone to death, like you have mourned and grieved a loved one, you know what I'm talking about. It's not as though we ne we're never sad again. It's not as though we don't have anger moments when we really just wish that person was here so we could pick up the phone and call them. It's not as though we don't have some denial here and there. Like, oh, I can't believe they're gone. But we can also, in those moments, have acceptance. So grief means that you process, you feel, and then you do embrace moments of acceptance. And the longer you go and the more you heal, acceptance gets more and more and more prevalent in your daily life. So getting to a place of acceptance is a process. But like I said at the very beginning, if we've chosen to stay, if we've chosen to work on this marriage, there is a part of us that's accepted the reality of our situation. So here's how we work towards acceptance. We need to start working toward the actual ability to move forward. This includes a lot of things, okay? It includes forgiveness. We need to embrace forgiveness. We need to embrace the ability to say, yes, this happened. 
and no, I'm not happy about it and I need to grieve and I need to process and I am traumatized and I'm going to go to counseling and I'm going to do my part and you better do your part as my husband. But we move forward all the while moving towards something. Okay. The question, I just can't accept that he would do this. Okay, but he did. <laughs> he did. He did this. He made these choices. And if really what you're struggling with is, I don't recognize that man anymore. That is not the man I married, and I will not accept that the man I married did this. That is part of your grief. You're grieving that guy, that guy you walked down the aisle with, that guy, because you don't recognize this guy standing in front of you, that guy that you walked down the aisle with, that picture in your mind of this amazing man that would never do anything in the world to hurt you. That guy is not the guy standing there right now. Grief. You've got to grieve that. Okay. But he's still the man you've now chosen to stay in the marriage with. So to be able to accept that this is the guy, this really is kind of the guy you're married to, okay? This is him. To accept that means to move forward, whatever that looks like for you. If you're not in counseling, go, both of you. If he is doing his part, if he is doing the effort, he's putting forth the effort, he's really trying to help make the marriage work, then acceptance means you take steps in the direction of healing and reconciliation, whatever that may look like for you. Okay, I'm speaking in very general terms here, but everybody's situation is a little different. But if you're just still sitting there every day and you are stuck in the the I just can't accept that he did. I just cannot accept that he would do this to me. I just cannot accept that he would do this. Begin to just let it sink in that he did. He did this. All of this you're feeling, all of this pain is part of your grief. We've all struggled with it. It's almost like you're stuck in denial. <laughs> You know, I cannot accept this. I, I can't believe he would do this. So if you feel stuck there and you cannot find acceptance, the way to pull yourself out of it is forward momentum, baby steps, okay? Really look at your husband one day. Like, really look at him. And don't sit there and look at him through the lens of how angry you are. Look at him as a human being. He is flawed. He is broken. We all are. I come from um, the Christian faith, and I believe wholeheartedly that we're all broken humans. None of us are perfect. Jesus was the only perfect one. Now, if you're not a person of faith, you know, I'm sure you understand that as well. The whole concept of we are all broken people. We all do things we wish we wouldn't have done. We all make choices we wish we could take back. We all do things to hurt people we love. We've all been there. So if, if you're stuck right now and you're like, I am never going to find this acceptance, just see him for who he is. Realize that this is the choice you made. We all made it. We're in this relationship. We've committed to try to make it work. Okay, and, and you're choosing to move forward. That is the quickest way to help get us all to that place of acceptance. And I remind you again, acceptance does not mean that grief is just done and we're never going to grieve again. Acceptance means that you've come to a place of peace and understanding with it all. It's not as though you say, okay, you know, um, I'm happy this happened or anything like that. Acceptance means you go, all right, yeah, that happened, and it's been awful, and I've been really sad, but I'm ready to say, okay, what now? What next? I'm ready to move forward. That is acceptance, and you can help that process by making a conscious decision to start taking those baby steps forward. 
I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, acceptance is one of those things that just comes along with the grief process. And I strongly encourage you, if you don't have a counselor or you're not working with a coach like me or anything like that, find someone who can walk this journey with you. Grief is very challenging, especially if you're living and breathing in the same household as the person that has hurt you so deeply. It can be very challenging. Do get help if you need it, okay? All right, if you like this video and I've got plenty more, make sure you check them out and do subscribe if you don't mind because that way you get all of my videos when they are posted. And down below this video, I have um, some free goodies for you. I hope you'll click on all the links and check them out and make sure you join my Facebook group if you have not already. Um, I welcome you to be a part of that. It's a wonderful, wonderful support system for women like us. So my friend, hang in there, okay? And come back and watch other videos when you have the time, but just baby steps. It's just one baby step at a time.